Lesson 11.3a, Getting Ready, Modeling, Balancing, Solving Multiplication Equations. We can model a multiplication equation on a balance scale. In video 11.2b, we modeled addition equations on a balance scale using a little triangle for the variable. We can still use a little triangle to represent the variable, but now we'll use several of them. Our equation is 2x equals 6. Our balance scale has two triangles. Each triangle represents an x. We have two of them, so there's an x here and an x there. And each square represents 1, so we have 6 squares. And we can see there is one green triangle to three orange squares. That means each triangle is equal to 3. When balancing equations, the first step is to place all triangles and squares on the scale. We have the triangles on one side and the squares on another. And the triangles are placed in a single column. We have 3x, so we're going to go 1, 2, 3. And the squares are placed across from the triangles in columns that's going up and down until all 12 are placed. So we go 1, 2, 3, because there's 3 here, and we go 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, until they're all placed. And we can see there is one triangle to four orange squares going across as a group. Each triangle is equal to four squares, so x is equal to four. Here it's telling us to solve 10 is equal to 2y. We place the triangles in a single column first, so now they're on this side. Then we place squares across from the triangles in columns until all 10 are placed. We have 2 here in a column, so we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we can circle each group of 1 triangle and 5 squares. That's one group. That's two groups for 2y. Each triangle is equal to 5 squares. y is equal to 5. We can use any shapes to represent the variable and product as long as we are consistent and use the same type of shape to represent the variable and use some other shape to represent the product. We have 3n is equal to 6. We can use three trapezoids to represent 3n and six rhombuses to represent 6. Each group should contain an equal number of units. So we have one trapezoid, two rhombuses, one trapezoid, two rhombuses, one trapezoid, two rhombuses. They contain an equal number of units. If they don't have an equal number of units, we need to rearrange them until they do. The number of groups we make will be equal to the coefficient of the variable. Remember, the number that is just to the left of the variable with nothing between them, that's the coefficient to the variable. That tells us how many groups we're going to have. We have a 3 here, so we're going to have 3 groups. This is showing us that b is equal to 1. We have 1 triangle to 1 square, 1 triangle to 1 square. That means b is equal to 1. When we solved addition equations, we removed squares from each side of the balance scale. When we solved multiplication equations, we made equal groups containing one triangle and some squares. Okay, we finished the first part of this lesson. We're going to move on to the second part, modeling multiplication equations with algebra tiles. I hope you have a really good and productive day, and I hope you'll join me for the next part of this lesson. Bye.